Welcome to the Unmastered Art of Baking. I'm Fran, student and baking enthusiast. Welcome to the Unmastered Art of Baking. On this show, I intend to show you how easy and fun baking can be. I'll take you through all the basics like Victoria sponge and chocolate cupcakes, through to some more challenging pieces like macaroons and celebration cakes. Prepare to be covered in flour. <laughs> Today we're going to make delicious chocolate cupcakes with a chocolate buttercream. You'll need 80 grams of unsalted butter, 280 grams of caster sugar, two eggs, 200 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of cocoa, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and 240 milliliters of milk. Preheat the oven to 190 degrees. You'll need a cupcake tray with cases and a large mixing bowl. First step. Cream the butter and sugar together. I'm going to cream the ingredients with a hand whisk. This gives you a lighter, more fluffy texture, but if you do it by hand, it will still work. Because of the high sugar content, this mixture may be a little granular at this stage. Next, crack the eggs into your butter and sugar mixture. Keep out the bits of shell. Not very nice. Beat the eggs in by hand to ensure that the mixture doesn't curdle. The next stage is to add your dry ingredients. Make sure you sift them so it's not lumpy. In my bowl, I've got the flour, the cocoa powder, the salt and the baking powder. To make sure it's fully whisked, I'm just going to whiz it over once with a hand mixer. Once again, this piece of equipment isn't completely necessary, but if you have it, it helps. The eternal problem of living with boys is that they want to lick the bowl all the time. Once you've reached this fairly thick consistency, we'll add the milk. Because there's so much milk, you want to mix it in a bit initially by hand so it doesn't slop everywhere. Then use your electric hand mixer, if you have one, to make sure the milk is fully incorporated. Scrape the batons down as best as you can. If there's a bit left, it doesn't matter. And then we're ready to go into the cupcake cases. This mixture is quite liquid because of the high milk content, but we'll just have to hope it all goes in the right place. Use two spoons to fill each case about two thirds full. Once you've filled your cupcake cases, we're ready for the oven. And now you've got about 20 minutes to do your washing up. Once your cupcakes have been in for about 20 minutes, and when prodded, they rise back up, they're ready to come out. For the icing, you'll need 300 grams of icing sugar, 100 grams of unsalted butter, 40 grams of cocoa powder, 40 millilitres of milk. And you'll also need a large mixing bowl, a sieve, and if possible, a piping bag with a large nozzle. First step for making the icing is to cream the butter and the icing sugar. You need to sift the icing sugar so that you don't get any lumps. Mix this a little by hand at first, so it doesn't go everywhere, and then we can move on to the hand mixer if you have one. Here's one of my little secrets. If you put a tea towel over the bowl when you use the hand whisk, you get less smoke in your face. Because of the high icing sugar content, this mixture is quite dry, but keep with it, it will come together. It's very thick, but it's meant to be like that, so don't fret. Once you reach this consistency, we need to sift in our cocoa powder. Oh, the smell is glorious. Mix this in with the same procedure. It will take a little bit of time. Some people might add 10 grams extra butter if you want to. I'm going to stick with it. 
Once it's all formed together like this, we can now add the milk, a bit at a time. Now for some elbow grease. Look at that chocolatey goodness. Now use your hand whisk to get out all of these little lumps. On full speed, beat the icing till it's light and fluffy. Now that our icing's ready, all we need is our cooled cupcakes and we'll begin. If you fancy it, give yourself a go at piping. It's really good fun and the bags are actually quite cheap at most supermarkets. Alternatively, there's nothing wrong with the good old fashioned method of using a knife. Ta-da! Now let's try a few with piping. Squeeze all your icing down to the bottom of the nozzle. You can see it going down. And then we're ready. One method is a simple circle. You start from the outside, work in an anti-clockwise direction and fill the whole cupcake. Feel free to experiment. There are loads of different methods. Have fun. Congratulations, you successfully baked my yummy chocolate cupcakes. Now the hard work begins, keeping your housemates away from them. Thank you.